Hi, and welcome to the Brisbane Professionals Podcast. This is a podcast brought to you by SMS Law, going through the legal secrets that will benefit you and your clients, as well as having a little bit of fun as we go. This podcast is designed to educate you on, number one, complicated legal terms that we will explain in an easy to understand manner, two, to understand why you do things from a legal perspective in your business, and three, to help you develop a plan for the future success of your business. Our mission is to help empower small to medium-sized businesses around the world to get access to legal advice so that they can help build their communities and make the world a better place. Did you know that any business owner is on average seven months away from losing everything? That is the average time that it takes from a successful business to fold when an aspect of their business is not set up correctly. This podcast is all about empowering you and your business with knowledge and tools to ensure that that doesn't happen to you or to your clients. Let's begin, shall we? Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Brisbane Professional Podcast. Uh, I am Craig Mason, and as always, I have with me Mr. Jeremy Stratton. Say hello to our listeners, Jeremy. Hello, listeners, and welcome to our podcast. Indeed, and viewers, too, if you are watching us. Uh, Today, we want to talk about wills. So we've um, we've touched on wills over the last uh, few shows, if you have been listening to us in uh, uh, order sequence uh you would have uh, noticed that we're kind of talking about wills at the moment and uh today we're touching on that as well and it's uh what shouldn't go into a will in in our view so there's plenty of things that shouldn't go into it we're going to touch on sort of four things today about what we see is not or shouldn't or not appropriate to put into a will and there's a variety of reasons uh, as to why uh so jeremy the first one is a uh, funeral plan yeah, so a funeral plan, obviously, you know, telling people what you want to happen in your funeral uh, really shouldn't go into a will because it's, it's not really the place for a will. A will is about what you're leaving to people. You can say whether or not you want to be buried or cremated, but the actual plan for the funeral, that should stay out. And probably the biggest reason, I think, is that often people change their views on these things. And if you want to go and uh, you know, put that into your will, every time you change your mind about what song you might want to have or who you want to have to talk or, or whatever, you have to go changing your will and it costs money and it creates a great deal of confusion fusion if there's multiple versions lying around everywhere. So funeral plans can stay out. Uh, they yeah, they can be written in, they can go with your will, uh, where, where, wherever you store that, uh, but it shouldn't go in the actual physical will because uh, otherwise it, it just will require changing too often. So that's the first one, Craig. Do you want to talk about the second one? Yeah, absolutely. So you know, that's a good point that you make about um, you know having to change it each time you want to, want to do something. So when you do a will... Uh, you might do it in 1976, um, you know, and you want to, you should be updating it, but you don't want to update it every single time you change your, your song or whatever it might be. And the same goes with uh, specific gifts in your will. So you might uh, say that you want, um, you know, a certain amount of money to go to a particular person. That should obviously go into the will. Uh, but when you go into a situation where you're basically... Uh, going through your jewellery box or something along those lines and giving this particular ring to someone, that ring to someone else, that to someone else, and sort of really getting specific as to the smaller type assets. Uh, If you were to lose one of those in your lifetime, sell it, give it away, etc., you're updating your will each time because you've given that gift to to Johnny or to Billy or whoever it might be. So uh, we'd suggest that you do a letter of wishes that, is uh, held with your will and you can update that if something was to happen and in that you can start sort of um, going through the jewelry box and uh, divvying that up so uh, we suggest it stays out of the will uh, and goes into a letter of uh, wishes uh, that's held uh, separate uh, a separate document to the will but um, held with the will so that's about specific gifts Jeremy the uh, third one that shouldn't go in there yeah, so that kind of this one flies on from specific gifts, and that's illegal gifts and requests. So, you know, you can't force someone to do something illegal in a will. You can't, you can never force someone to do something illegal anyway. Uh, but you you can't force someone to do something illegal. So you can't say, you know, that they can only get a a, a, um, a gift if they do something illegal, or if they you know, break a law somehow. Uh, so illegal gifts and requests are not allowed to go into wills. And if you do put them in there, they won't be um, binding, and uh, the executor won't have to to do anything with them, um, that just can cause more problems than they're worth. So keep those out of a will. Uh, no no lawyer would put them in there, hopefully, um, but yeah, especially when you're doing your own one. So Craig, that's the third one. What about the final one? 
Yeah, the final one is about excluding beneficiaries. So if you want to exclude someone, that should definitely go in the will. It's more about the reasons behind uh, that. So you would normally see in a will that uh, you might exclude a particular person and you might say, uh, I'm excluding that person. Uh, and there's a paragraph in there to say that uh, I've considered uh, my estate and I've considered Billy uh, and I've chosen not to leave anything to Billy um, because our relationship is broken down or something along those lines. So it's important that you acknowledge that you're excluding the person because you don't want to be uh, seen that you've forgotten about them, for instance. So if you need to actually mention them, exclude them, provide a sort of brief reason, and then what uh, we suggest happened is that you might then write a more detailed letter explaining why and you'd go through the relationship you know I, i'm not leaving anything because over the lifetime i've given billy a hundred thousand dollars or um you know we haven't spoken uh, we have no relationship um, for the last 45 years whatever it might be and explain that in more detail we suggest that goes in a letter rather than um, in the will uh, you might, uh, again, this is something if you do do this and you're excluding someone and you change your mind, make sure you update your, update your will and um, destroy the letter. So important to think about if you're going to do that uh, and we suggest that uh, the full uh, story goes in a separate letter rather than in actual, actual will. Uh, that's it for us today. That's uh, some things you need to think about that uh, shouldn't go into a will. Uh, if you uh, want to like us on the SMS Law Facebook page or follow us on Twitter, please do so. Uh, search for Jeremy uh, Stretton, Craig Mason on LinkedIn. Connect to us through there. And as a final favour, uh, if you'd like to rate and review the podcast, uh, we'd appreciate that. Um, we want uh, as many listeners and viewers uh, to tune in with us to get uh, and share with uh, their community the information that we share on here. Uh, we take it seriously and, uh, you know, really enjoy uh, feedback and uh, interaction with our with our shows. So please do that. Uh, Jeremy, anything else you wanted to say for today? Not at all. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Bye.